Problem number five has us using both Excel formulas and the data analysis tool to calculate a three period moving average and exponential smoothing with a smoothing constant of 0.25. Even though your instructions are to do them on two separate worksheets, I'm going to do them on the same worksheet. In column C, I'll do moving average using formulas. Column D, moving average using the data analysis tool. Column E, exponential smoothing. And column F, exponential smoothing using the data analysis tool to show you how the numbers are going to match up. So let's start with moving average using formulas. If you're going to do a three period moving average, we have to pick the first date as the first date that has three prior observations. That would be in cell C7. January 4th, 2000 is our first observation that has three previous observations. So to use our moving average, all we have to do is take an average of the three previous observations. To do that, I'll type equals average, open up the parentheses, and then click on the three, select the three previous observations, before, five, and six. Just close up the parentheses, hit enter, and now I can use the fill handle and double click to fill that all the way down the column. Notice there are a lot of observations. And it actually forecasted it for one period in the future. Now let's use Excel's data analysis tool. So to use the data analysis tool, I'm going to click on data. And in the analyze group, there should be a tool called data analysis. If that is not there, you have to go to File, and then Options. This time, click Add-ins on the left-hand side. Down at the bottom where it says Manage Excel Add-ins, just click Go. And then make sure that your Analysis Tool Pack is checked. Once it is checked, when you go back to the data tab, you should be able to see your data analysis tool in the analyze group. So I'm going to click data analysis and I will scroll down and select moving average and click OK. My input range will be all of the prices. I'm going to start with cell B3 with the word price. Select all of the prices up to August 30th, 2010, all of the actual data that I have. And I will make sure to click Labels in the first row. And my interval will be 3. Now here's a little trick with the Moving Average tool. If I click in a box that has the input range, I can actually scroll back up to the top. Now. Here is a little trick with the output range. So with the output range, if I want it to match up with my moving average formula, what I have to do in the output range is click the second observation. It doesn't matter what the interval is. The reason for that is the first observation is the only one where it is not possible to get a forecast because we're using data from the past. So our first possible forecast would be January 10, 2000. So we click cell D5, which is our second observation, and click OK. And our numbers should match exactly. And notice the first two cells are NA and NA because we're using a three period moving average. Now let's use exponential smoothing and exponential smoothing using the data analysis tool. So to use exponential smoothing with a smoothing constant of 0.25, cell E4, which is our first date, it is not possible to get a forecast because again, we're using data from the past. We have no data from the past. 
the first cell that we can get a forecast for is cell E5, which is our second data point. Well, we only have one forecast from the past at that point, January 3rd, 2000. So under exponential smoothing, our first forecast for the second data point will be our first data point. So our forecast for January 10th, 2000 is our January 3rd, 2000 actual value. Now from this point, our forecast is going to be a weighted average of the actual and the forecast for each period. So our period 3 forecast is going to be a weighted average of the period 2 actual and the period 2 forecast. How do we know the weights? That is our smoothing constant. So with our smoothing constant of 0.25, we will take 0.25 multiplied by the actual and 0.75 multiplied by the forecast. So to put in our formula for the exponential smoothing, our smoothing constant, by the way, is also known as alpha. So to put in the formula for exponential smoothing, we'll tell Excel to take the actual price for the previous period, which would be January 10, 2000, cell B5, and we'll tell it to multiply by our alpha, which is 0.25. And then we will add our forecast for the same period, cell E5, our forecast for the previous period, cell E5, and we multiply that by 1 minus alpha. You can multiply that by, open parentheses, 1 minus 0.25, or you could just type in 0.75. Either one will work. So I hit enter, and now all I have to do is copy that formula down using the fill handle, and I have now used exponential smoothing to forecast my prices for each period. Now if I want to use the data analysis tool to do exponential smoothing, I'll click on data, and then my data analysis, remember we had to add it before using the file and options. So I click data analysis on my data tab. And this time I will select exponential smoothing and click OK. My input range is still going to be the prices. If you want, you can change that to make sure that it's correct. So. I will start from B3, select the entire range of actual prices, and since I started from B3, I will make sure to click my label. Now the important thing with the exponential smoothing tool is that your damping factor is 1 minus alpha. So because we used 0.25, as our alpha, our damping factor using the exponential smoothing tool is 1 minus alpha. So here we would have to type in 0.75. And then going to the output range. Unfortunately, unlike the moving average with the output range for the exponential smoothing, we just click on the first data point. So we would click on cell F4 for our exponential smoothing and click OK. And notice I get an NA for the first one, and all of my observations are going to match. We can see more clearly that it matches if I change the formatting of column E to number, and I'll give it five decimal places. And notice that the numbers match exactly in column E and column F.